pretty much see the entire city, which is really nice. <laughs> so we got the lake out this direction. As you come around, you kind of see a whole view of the city all the way into downtown. So the old membrane is actually PVC. The new membrane is PVC. The difference in this one is it's actually fastened at multiple areas throughout, which creates a better fastening pattern, less wind uplift, whereas the old system was just fastened at the seams. So with the wind coming off the lake um, and the, you know, the harsh conditions we have in the winter here in Buffalo, this new Rhino Bond system should be a little more, uh, a little more rugged you know, for the environment. It's been fun coming back and seeing what an amazing building this is. I think the roof is a foundational aspect of the building and it needed to be addressed. And Pike being an institution in Rochester, it was nice to have them come in and they did an incredible job keeping this project on time. It's nice to have something like that done because we're gonna be looking at a lot of other aspects of this building, but if you don't take care of some of the foundational pieces, you can't get to the fun stuff. So from day one, uh, we're working with Cinemark throughout the process. Obviously we came closer and closer partners. And towards the end, we decided, you know what, it's, it's Pike and Centimark or nothing. There's a lot of different components to this roof project. The dome has the largest amount of square footage and it's the tallest, but really we're dealing with 13, 13 different roof projects. It makes this project challenging, but also fun. It, it really is state-of-the-art technology that's, that's being utilized. This is a significant investment into the building and this is solely coming out of ownership's pocket. You know, I'm fortunate to work for a lot of great owners in a, in a few different sports, and I can tell you that Terry and the Pagula family are as committed to this market as I've ever seen anybody be committed to a market. We want this to be a great experience for fans. We want this building to be programmed as many nights a year. We want it to be a catalyst for growth in downtown Buffalo. I've seen it happen before when these buildings come alive and everything starts to grow around it, and that's the vision long term for this facility. The new video board is twice the size of the old ones. So you're going to see that as soon as you walk into the building. The resolution is significantly better as well. So what you see on the screen is going to be more powerful. And that's going to translate to the fan experience. It's going to change the view from every single seat in this building. It's going to change how we present during games. And I think it's going to make things more exciting for the players on the ice. They feed off of the energy of our fans. And anything that we can do to increase that, we're going to try to do. I think the fans are going to be excited when they walk in for the first time and see that board. Terry loves hockey, the family are big supporters, they want nothing more to win, they want nothing more to deliver on behalf of the fans in this market, and I think some of these changes are an indication of that, and it's just the beginning. As Pike, we like to build our communities and you know, surrounding areas, especially something this iconic. I know Santa Mark feels the same way. I personally grew up playing hockey uh, since the age of four, and uh, to be able to leave your mark on an arena like this and to be able to bring your kids here to say that you're able to put the roof on this building for years and years to come is very special. It's almost like you're putting on the hockey helmet. It is, it is, buckets on. I think because we've got a dynamic young team, uh, Kevin's done a great job of kind of supplementing that in the off season. We've brought Lindy in to, to unlock you know, that final piece. We've got great alignment with business. We've got great support from ownership. That's the way you win. I think it's important to characterize the roof and the video board as phase one. I think they're great improvements, but we're looking at every aspect of this building, every aspect of the fan experience. Anything we can do to improve it is going to be on the table. We're looking hard at the fan feedback to understand what's important to them. And wherever we can incorporate that, and in whatever timetable we can, we're going to. So it's fun to come in and get a fresh set of eyes on the building and determine how can we move everything forward into the future to make this as great of an experience for our fans as possible.